Annabelle Radcliffe Trenner hikes up the scaffolding to the top of St. Francis de Sales. She stands under the base of the church's dome. You can hardly see the lantern from here. It gives you an idea of scale when you get up here. Trenner is the lead architect on the restoration of the century-old church. Last month, her team finished repainting the central dome, rappelling up the sides with mountain climbing gear. What are you going to do here? The dome is the pinnacle of an incredibly complex rooftop engineered by Rafael Guastavino of Spain in the 1900s. Come over here. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. You're doing much better than most people. There you go. Winters here were a lot harder than Spanish ones and took a toll on the tiles Guastavino used to cover his dome. When Trenner first stepped onto this roof, which has incredible views of Philadelphia. It was littered with subway tiles that back in the 50s were cemented over the original failing roof tiles. Water also was working its way inside, pouring into the sanctuary through 37 different openings. People brought umbrellas to mass. And that was pouring with water. The thermostat literally, there was so much water coming down, it washed off the wall. Trenner will climb the vaulted walls to pinpoint the last leak today. But the work won't end there. Scaffolding climbs over the altar, protecting the priest leading the services from falling bricks. Grants from the Partners for Sacred Places and money raised year by year by the archdiocese have paid for the work. The whole project will cost about $26 million. Trenner says people who have come to sit in the pews over many, many years have become really attached to the soaring sanctuary. Philadelphia has all these lovely, beautiful, secret buildings that people don't know. They're sort of like a hidden, hidden treasure. And more people need to enjoy them and understand how complicated they are and beautiful they are. Trenner will know the space intimately by the time she's finished here. Renovations are expected to take 15 years. It's a huge undertaking for the church, but it's such a glorious space. <laughs> I mean, it's breathtaking. I mean, I think from, you know... Whatever faith you come from, this is spiritually a nurturing place. It's just wonderful. Lucky to be working on it, I think. <laughs> Emma Jacobs, WHYY News.